Financial soundness is the foundation of all homeowner associations. Poorly operated associations typically have lower property values and much more volatile memberships. An association board of directors should always make financial stability of the association a top priority. The financial stability would involve everything from the collection of delinquent member accounts to the best utilization of the vendors who serve the association. The starting point of grasping the financial soundness of any association is reading and understanding the financial statements. The association's financials are the summary of all financial activity during a given period of time. Financial statements are the final product of the accounting function. Most homeowners associations typically produce three primary financial statements, a balance sheet, the income statement, and the cash disbursement report. The balance sheet is the most basic of the financial statements, which includes the association's assets and liabilities, or equities as the specific date. The balance sheet is a fast and easy way to determine the financial health of an association. Assets are the resources that the association has for future benefit. Assets include items such as funds in the operating checking account, funds in money market accounts, certificates of deposit, and possible capital equipment. Liabilities and equities are obligations to others. On a balance sheet for an association, liabilities and equities will generally be capital reserves and retained earnings. Reserves are funds set aside for future capital maintenance obligations and are thus liabilities. Retained earnings is the balance of net income less losses over the year the association has been in existence. Profits retained by the association, retained earnings are in an equity account. The retained earnings amount is not indicative of how much cash the association has, but rather represents how much in assets the association has. The second to last category on the balance sheet will either be the net income or net loss calculation. Net income is the total of excess income over expenses, while net loss is the excess expenses over income. Whereas the balance sheet shows balances of a specific date, the income statement shows the flow of activity and transactions over a specific period. There are incomes from dues and expenses from association operations. The income statement has two primary parts, operating income and operating expenses, with the operating expense part having subparts to better explain expenses. Every income and expense item has a corresponding chart of account number. A chart of accounts is a financial organizational tool that provides numerical listing for every financial category account in an accounting system. An account is a unique record for each type of asset, liability, equity, revenue, and expense. Income statements can vary in layout and can have as few as one number column with actual income and expense for the accounting period in question. When it comes to reading an account statement, breaking the statement down by covering up columns and reading one at a time makes the task manageable for even the most inexperienced readers. Lastly, a cash disbursement shows the detailed activity of checks written or electronically transferred from the association's operating checking account to pay for the association's expenses. The disbursement on the cash disbursement report can be reconciled against the actual column on the income statement and vice versa.